Hi, nurse practitioner Dr. Olivia Young here today to talk to you about Nutraceuticals 101 or Nutro what? The term nutraceutical comes from combining the words nutrition and pharmaceutical. Nutrition, of course, derives from the word nutrients. And nutrients are those substances living organisms can use to support life, sustaining and optimizing repair processes and functions for the body. Dr. Stephen DeFelice created the term in 1989. He, he said he did it to distinguish nutritional products that work clinically from those that don't because he wanted to highlight a food or parts of a food that have a clinical benefit both in the prevention and treatment of disease. Nutraceuticals are often called nutrients for short, but I'm often asked, what's the difference between vitamins, minerals, supplements, and nutraceuticals? Well, the answer is simple, and then again, it's not so simple. Vitamins and minerals are merely two kinds of the many types of nutraceuticals. Like vitamins and minerals, nutraceuticals are nutrients. And they are also called supplements because they can add to and enhance the body's own nutrient reserves. However, whether or not nutraceuticals actually add to and enhance the body's nutrient reserves is a function of the quality of the nutraceutical and the dose that is taken. Quality and dose are key to the effectiveness of nutraceuticals. And when it comes to quality, there are three grades of nutraceuticals. Grade one is the feed grade. Feed-grade nutraceuticals are considered not safe for human consumption. Please don't take them. The second grade is the food grade. Food-grade nutraceuticals can vary greatly in quality. And they vary widely in quality from brand to brand. And even sometimes within different batches of the same brand, different manufacturing batches of the same brand. The third grade of nutraceuticals is the pharmaceutical grade, and it is generally considered the best. Pharmaceutical grade nutraceuticals are considered the best because they have three important characteristics. First, they contain more than 99% of the active ingredient or the nutrient. Second, they don't contain new things like binders, fillers, drugs, dilutants, dyes, or other substances. Third, the strength of doses is essentially the same from batch to batch. So you get what you thought you were getting. But another important issue for many people when it comes to nutraceuticals is the cost. Just as the quality of nutraceuticals can vary widely, cost for the same labeled nutrient can also vary widely. People buy pharmaceutical grade nutrients to be sure they are getting the highest quality and dose of the ingredient. But people buy Food grade nutrients to save money are because they just don't know any better. But here's the kicker. Cost is not always related to the quality of a nutraceutical. But in general, the higher the quality of a nutraceutical, the more it is going to cost. Since the amount of a nutraceutical actually contained in a food grade product can legally vary widely. Some food grade nutrients have been found to, to contain from zero, none, to more than 
of its active ingredient. Sometimes that 50% that you actually get may be enough to get the job done for you, but sometimes it may not be, and it might be hard for you to determine that depending on the purpose for which you're using the nutraceutical. These are just a few of the things that need to be considered by you as you purchase your nutraceuticals. To learn more about nutrients, check out my website, mindbodyworks.us. I offer quick, live, personalized consultations for a fee via HIPAA-compliant chat and email. But the site also provides you with loads of free information in support of your personal self-health care management effort. Healthier living to you.